Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm reacting to Dragonov's Colors the Movie and this is part two of my reaction. So part one is already up on my channel and it's where I react to the first two songs off the project. And now I'm reacting to the next two. Oops. Now I'm reacting to the next two and uh, we're just gonna explore them together, see Dragonov's talent. I'm very excited. Let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want and let's go. We're screen recording, let's start. I don't really know what to expect for this song because the last two were so different from each other. Okay, trap beat. <laughs> Okay, this scene right here is very interesting. So we've got two people who are, their faces are covered with rope tied around. And then one looks like he's digging like a grave or something in the sand. And then the other one is laying down. I don't want to assume the worst, but like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I did learn my lesson and I'm going to be looking and referencing genius lyrics throughout this video, just because it'll show me like which parts are going to be uh, the future artists or not. So in this song at the end and on, I think the last like chorusy part uh, in Kanu, in Kanu, he's going to be doing that part. But right now, it's dragging off. Like I mentioned in my last reaction, I like how Dragonov's able to use a more melodic uh, style with his rapping and he doesn't just stick to like one same tone. Uh, he's able to play around and also, you know, use autotune here and there to make it more interesting for the viewer. So I just wanted to comment on that as well. Okay, so anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> So yeah, he has like a melody going on. Okay. Whoa. Obviously, there's some dark stuff happening right now because he just pushed that guy into the- I would- I think I was correct, the grave that he dug. Uh, not sure what this symbolizes, but also another thing I want to note is that in the background, uh, I see this, like, cloth or mat of some sort that looks to be like it's maybe a traditional style and i think from the last video you guys were talking about how dragonov's kind of merging his past and the traditions um, of his country and you know what he's inherited and kind of merging that with like his modern styles yeah so that's pretty interesting concept i wish that of course that there was uh, subtitles or translations available, but I also understand why there's not. And so I just wanted to comment on that. I did read people's posts about it and I was very intrigued by it. I think this backdrop maybe has something to do with the actions that are happening in front of it. Not sure, that's just my wild guess. And obviously I'm not very detailed on my explanation this time, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what you guys say. Okay, so clearly he can't see what he's doing. Oh my. I always have this issue where when I'm like very invested in like trying to figure out what's going on, I end up like 
feeling awkward like jamming with the song because the song's really good right so i want to like you know jam to it but at the same time there's like this dark stuff happening on the screen so i'm like i'm so conflicted like should i be like crying or like dancing i don't know <laughs> you know what i mean so. okay that's interesting it's like the process is repeating itself Obviously, it's kind of like a chain reaction. So one person digs the grave, buries the person, and they die, and then the next person comes up. Perhaps this is maybe related to like generations, like how certain generations inherit the problems of their uh, of their predecessors. But you know, there's tons of different meanings that I'm sure uh, could be applicable to this, as well as maybe like an actual like concise meaning that you guys might know so you know let me know your, let me know your thoughts down below as usual <laughs> وينور لك طريق كوليدي ويوصل لك داك الشيء اللي بغيتي وليت منيتي الحبيبه ديالي الله يخليك ليا والله يحفظك ويسجيك وينجيك ويرضى عليك يا ربي امين سير وليدي راني راضيه عليك I mean correct me if I'm wrong but it seems like there is a language change right there interesting يلا عليك غوبي زولتي بشويه عليك Sorry, I'm like, my mouth is like hanging open. Isn't okay, a in one um, commercial break. Editing one Let me mute this. Okay, that was clearly a deep, deep song or deep visuals at least. Let's just continue on. Huh. Okay, another like white cloth. I'm already liking this uh, background instrumental. of this like background cloth or like mat that is displayed in the background and then this time we have a dancer uh who's in front of it it seems to be on a rooftop maybe someone's house considering that there's shirts hung and i noticed that the shirts have the same print on them as in the second music video section uh, that those people are wearing. I cannot read what it says, but maybe there's a motif going on there as well. Uh, in the bottom, there's this red paint. It doesn't look like it's actually wet. Her feet aren't turning red or anything, which I'm kind of relieved about because at first, on first glance, I was like, is this blood? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's just water covering it. Okay. <laughs> huh. 
This song, uh, as far as the feeling of it, is sort of one of uncertainty, a little bit ominous. I use that word a lot. It doesn't really have like a beat drop or any moment where you can say like, oh, there's a happy like part that I'm just gonna dance around to and be like really excited about. And I think that's very much reflected in her dance moves. <laughs> flying in the background. I don't know. The scenery is very, very interesting. <laughs> The thing that's driving this beat is definitely that xylophone sound. I think it sounds very addicting and also it's just, it's a very simple melody. It's going one, three, five, and then that's basically what's repeating. <laughs> So I'm gonna end it here. Let's give my final thoughts about this. That section of the video, of the movie, I mean, could be categorized, I feel like, as ominous, eerie, very emotional as well. I think that honestly, the first song probably sounded pretty upbeat, but then the visuals were very dark. And then the second song returned to that traditional sound and style. And then the, uh, the emotion in the dancer matched the delivery of the lyrics that the artists were going for. If you wanna expand on anything I said or correct me, please do so down in the comment section and I will definitely check out all the comments on this video. And yeah, so let me know if you guys wanna see part three, right? <laughs> of course, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.